time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. In the weather world, we're watching as thunderstorms move into the Wasatch Front area, that live view from Utah Lake. This is the northern marina here, and you're looking at that strong thunderstorm that is hitting Eagle Mountain, and it is continuing towards the Wasatch Front. So Utah County already seeing the storms, and they're going to continue tonight. As we look at the forewarn radar, it's sweeping the region so you can see exactly where we're dealing with this moisture as we get a little closer here. Delta, this was a severe thunderstorm warning that has since expired, but we're watching as all of this activity moves into the Tooele and Rush Valleys, Utah County, and then eventually along the Wasatch Front, south of Wendover, those storms also tracking in our direction. As we head a little further south, it's towards Cedar City, over I-15, between Beaver and Iron County, Panguitch in the Bryce Canyon area, dealing with storms still, and then a lot a lot of moisture down towards Lake Powell. This is over Highway 89. This is moving towards the Wallweeper Marina, and we do have several warnings as a result. Notice how those storms kind of snake up towards Hanksville. Live view from Eagle Mountain where the rain was coming down. We were catching it live on the camera. Wet pavement out there. It was a downpour. We've got deep subtropical moisture. Our monsoon surge here, and as a trough moves through the state, we get the lift we need to see those storms. Look at that Eagle Mountain storm. That is a lot of light, 80 strikes there, that lightning counter in the corner of your screen. And we're watching as that moves towards the Draper area and continues to track north. Cedar Fort also getting some heavy precip. As we look at our flash flood warnings in Garfield County, in effect until 630. This is for Hole in the Rock Road. This is a popular area, Peekaboo and Spooky, the slot canyons, completely unsafe. Have been for the last 72 hours, and that continues today as we get a little Closer here, that flash flood warning that expires at 5.30, that is for Kodachrome Basin State Park. And then a little further south, you see this warning. This is the newest towards Lake Powell over that monster of a storm here until 7 p.m. This does include Walweep Creek, Warm Creek, Last Chance, and that holds until 7.30. So flash flood warnings in south central Utah. And the temperatures are still hot. That heat adding to instability, 96 in Salt Lake. We've got 90s along the Wasatch Front. You can tell where we've seen storms. That includes Emory, Price, Hanksville, Escalante, because those numbers are in the 80s, dropping drastically with wet weather overhead. We've bumped a degree in St. George. They're now to 104. 90s turning to 80s along the Wasatch Front with the chance of an isolated thunderstorm. So it's an eyes to the skies type of evening. Remember, we have a lot of moisture potential. So if a storm forms, we're talking heavy downpours, gusty winds, and we've seen hail. Satellite radar shows the last few hours. And you're going to watch as those storms blossom in the last two into the West Desert, moving towards the Wasatch Front, south central into eastern Utah in the last couple of hours. And that continues for tonight. Here's the big picture. Our high has slid to the east. It increases that southwest flow. We put this into motion. We've got a trough moving through to the north of the Beehive State. So there's that influx of moisture. This is going to send a cold front through for our Thursday. That cold front is going to assist in storm development. We could see severe capability. It's kind of loving central and eastern Utah right now, but we'll see. High pressure bounces back for the weekend. Storm threat tomorrow is elevated. Marginal risk, including a big portion of central Utah. Salt Lake just barely on the edge of that. General thunderstorm risk for north into Cache Valley. But we're seeing this dark green, isolated, severe storm possible with the assistance of that front. Future cast showing us the storms by 10 p.m. active in the West Desert, Central Utah, and Salt Lake County by 11 moving into Salt Lake. Duchesne gets walloped. Castle Country sees another round. Here's that front. It's packing a punch. It's going to move on through. A lot of that moisture loves central and eastern Utah for your Thursday. We are going to see strong storms as the front progresses. We will dry out and cool down as we head into Friday. But that cool, it's short-lived. Brand new flood watch issued for Grand County to the Four Corners for tomorrow afternoon and evening. This area has seen storms and it continues. Flash flood potential probable at Capitol Reef, Grand Staircase, and Grand Gulch. Looking at those temperatures, we cool into the 90s. For Salt Lake, 105 in St. George. Scattered storms for your Thursday. Triple digits for the next seven in the south. And here's the Wasatch Front. Seasonal on Friday. We get back to that heat by Saturday. Let's go.